might just be me, but, uh, you know, this might, maybe it's supposed to be like a tongue or whatever. But does this look like a person to you? I see, I think I see a torso. Mm -hmm. Legs Four little things. appendages. Well, that's frightening. So it eats people? <laughs> What's with the eyes? I don't know, man. It's creepy. I Which mean, it probably doesn't. Yeah. But we do know that there are several of the same types of drawings that occur all throughout the American continents. <laughs> it's interesting because many of these cultures probably didn't run into each other. Yeah, that's what the weirdest thing about it is. <laughs> What's the defining feature of all of them? Um, that they are cannibal monsters. Yeah. That's... They're, they're huge. Just gigantic. Don't come on into some cannibal monsters. Yes. <laughs> and I did some more research. A lot of it online, though. Um, couldn't find too many more books about it. Well, for one, any form of cannibalism puts you at risk of mutating into a Wendigo. Um, desperation, starvation, or fear of death are not only feelings that put you at risk of mutating into a Wendigo, but also, but may also attract one. So, if you're Pretty like big. lost in the woods, or like if you're starving for some reason, if you've been out there for a while... Can, can I just take a look at it yeah. real quick? Yeah. yeah. So, you wrote down here that it was mentioned that cannibalistic monsters, such as the Wendigos, uh, often make their homes in deep cave dwellings, 